All right, thanks everybody for joining us. Uh, I'm Mary Williams with CHI Health. Uh, in the top left-hand corner of my box is Dr. Adam Hiley. We probably should reintroduce him because yesterday he had a mask on. So I'm not sure any of you know what he looks like, but this is Dr. Adam Hiley. Dr. Adam Hiley is critical care and pulmonologist with CHI Health. He's also the assistant professor of medicine uh, at Creighton University School of Medicine. And yesterday, he was the first person at Creighton University Medical Center, Bergen Mercy, to receive the Pfizer vaccine. So, Doctor, let's start with how are you feeling? You're at work today, correct? Oh, we're at, we're at work. We have patients that we have to see. And uh, no, feel fine. It feels like every other day, um, you know, tiny bit, tiny, tiny bit of soreness in the, in the injection site at the deltoid, but really nothing else. Did you sleep well when you left the office yesterday, when you left Bergen yesterday? Uh, anything, did you feel any different? Uh, I mean, what was the last few hours, last almost 24 hours, what did that look like for you? No, I mean, everything was was normal. Um, you know, my my daughter actually got her six month shots in the same time I was getting mine. So we, uh, we were kind of vaccine buddies uh, for the day. Um, and she took it like a champ too. So it was, uh, it was kind of just a normal everyday evening and had dinner, got a workout in and, um, you know, went to bed like normal and back at it today. So Dr. Hiley, I'm going to ask you about two more questions. And then folks, if you want to submit your questions in the chat, we'll make sure that we get those questions answered. So other than the ache in the arm and you said, is it like a dull ache, a throbbing? What is that like? And any nausea or anything like that? Uh, I mean, it feels like maybe you bumped it, um, you know, like a day before and it's just kind of that little, just tiny bit of soreness. I mean, I will tell you last night as I, uh, you know, got done showering after working out, it was a little sore raising above my head, but it really, it was nothing that limited range of motion. It was not um, uncomfortable. It was like, I it, honestly, I mean, it's right on par with uh, what I've experienced with the flu vaccine. And honestly, with the flu vaccine in the past, I have had a couple of years where I had a headache and needed to take a little bit of Tylenol or Advil, uh, but this was you know, nothing um, like that at all. So very, very simple. Uh, no nausea, no vomiting, no diarrhea, nothing um, like uh, other COVID type symptoms, no fevers, myalgias or, or chills or shakes or anything, just felt normal. So what do you say to people out there right now? Because we saw some on you know, social media last night going, okay, but do I, should I take this vaccine? Should I be worried about this vaccine? What do you say to the naysayers who are, well, just they're timid and, and understandably so about getting this? Sure. I mean, this was, this was you know, put out to us at you know, unprecedented speed, but it's not because it was done carelessly. It was done because there was better coordination than there ever has been. Um, in the past of, of bringing a vaccine to, uh, you know, to the public, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not going to venture out and say like, everybody should take this because then it's, you know, forcing things on people. However, I would very much strongly recommend um, that, that you should. My fellows uh, in our fellowship program, they're all uh, willing to, to go and vaccinate themselves. So they can continue taking care of patients and they all have families as well. Uh, so I don't think there's a good reason not to, uh, unless you have one of those contraindications. You have a history of, al of allergies or something that's in the vaccine, or you have a history uh, that would preclude you from other uh, other vaccinations um, as well. I think it's it's important to, it, like I said yesterday, if it if it can give us some reprieve, if it can do half of what we think it's going to do, if it can lessen the cases, if it can keep people from getting as sick as they're going to get, uh, then you know I'm all for it. So last question here, and then folks, please put your questions in the chat room. Um, so today, the rest of your colleagues, for lack of a better term, across the state in CHI Health are getting that vaccine. St. Ease, uh, Emmanuel, others at CUMC, Bergen Mercy, Lakeside, Midlands, uh, St. Francis, I believe is scheduled, and as well as Good Sam. So across the board, we're giving that vaccination. How does it make you feel? I mean, it's fantastic, right? I mean, this is something that, we, like I said, we haven't seen this before. Um, it's it's really it's really fun, actually. Um, before just coming up here to get on the phone with you all, I had a couple of colleagues that said, "I'm getting mine today," and they're excited about it. Which is, and, and honestly, the people who are really excited about it are the people that have been taking care of these patients. They've been the ones that are are wearing N95s all day, and they have they have breakdown on their face. They papper in and out of rooms all day. They see people tremendously ill, and and uh, you know they're excited that 
that we're making some progress here. We're not just honestly healthcare workers. I think, um, and, and don't get me, get me wrong. Like I, I've seen sick people. I've taken care of sick people. My nurses, you know, my ancillary staff, people that spend so much time in those rooms, they're just they feel so defeated. And this almost kind of feels like a win. Um, you know, this is something that's actually going in their favor. And so it's really it's really cool to see them um, excited about this and wanting to jump in and, and get the ball moving forward to where we can show some progress in this fight. So I apparently cannot see the questions coming in, but it looks like we are getting questions. So Kim, I'm gonna have you unmute and go ahead and ask um, the first question. Okay, sounds good. Dr. Hiley, we're so glad that you're feeling well. What did your family say about yesterday's historic moment? Uh, my wife was very happy. She was excited for me. Um, you know, my daughter can't speak yet, but I'm sure she would be excited as well. Uh, and I think it was also just refreshing to have a lot of friends who text you and just say, hey, thanks for, thanks for doing it first. There's a lot of people out there that are concerned. Um, appreciate you. Appreciate you going out there and, and doing it. And people are just happy for each other. Health care workers are all just happy for each other that they're getting uh, to take this step forward. Great. And do you expect to feel worse after you receive your second dose? I don't know, right? I mean, that was what the study has shown, and we'll see what it shows later on as as more vaccines come out, and maybe hopefully there there will be um, those future uh, you know compositions that don't require you to have a second dose. I know the the side effect profile was a little more severe and more likely in the second dose. And if that's what it is, if I have to go through a day of fever that I can develop a better immunity for this, as long as I you know, can develop antibodies, if I have to go through a little fever and be uncomfortable for a day that I can then potentially not become that ill, or if I do get exposed to it, that I can lessen, perhaps lessen my chances of my family's friends, loved ones uh, becoming ill because of my exposures, then I will do it all day long. I mean, my my level of comfort is it comes way behind everybody else's safety. Okay, great. Next question. You said that your daughter got her six month shots yesterday as well. Did you take pictures, documents that you can compare the two and explain it to her once she's old enough to understand? Uh, I mean, we have some of the pictures from, from the media and, and my, uh, my wife takes plenty of pictures for her. Um, and so nothing really specific, uh, but I have actually had some friends that have held on to the newspaper with uh, with a picture. I was lucky enough to have a picture taken there to hold on that I can show my daughter later on as she's growing up. I mean, she was born during a pandemic and um, as she grows up and she can understand it a little bit, I think that she needs to understand that the world in which she was brought into and the world that she lives in now and all of the people that worked so hard to make it possible for her to have the future that she's gonna have at that time. Absolutely, that's great. Um, did any of your patients give you grief today after seeing you on the news last night? Honestly, no patients. I mean, I, I don't know how many people have actually seen it. It's more my colleagues that have said, oh, I saw you on the news. Oh, I saw, you know, saw you got your shot and, you know, good job. How are you feeling? It, it was just that no grief. It's uh, like I said, I saw so many more of my health healthcare um, colleagues today than than a, a few patients. So I haven't gotten anything from from any patients. Okay, that looks okay. Like, okay. Oh, I was gonna say that looks like all the questions we, we have. Is that correct, Kim? That is correct. Okay. So what we will do, folks, is we will it look like a couple of one, maybe two individuals may have joined this late and may still have some issues connecting to audio. We will send out a recording of this. Um, and thank you, Dr. Hiley, for taking time out of, um, to visit with us today. And we're glad you're doing well. You look great. And we'll probably check back with you in a couple of weeks after you've received your second dose um, so we can do this again. So thanks, media, for joining us. Have a great Sounds day. Good. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye.